innovation which the DVLA, um, I guess, has, has, has launched into or is about to launch. On the 18th um, of this month, um, there will be an online service for customer registration and service requests that will allow customers to apply and obtain um, invoices online for DVLA services, including your learner's license, your renewal license, conversion of foreign license, international driver's permit, and so forth. So joining Benny and I to um, explain a little bit, because I feel like, you know, this certainly needs a bit of explanation. We have with us, um, first and foremost, Dr. Benedou, um, one of the developers of the Automator service, which will be launched soon, and also Alaji Idrisu Hussein um, from the DVLA. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm actually very morning. excited about this. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't, I don't I'm know. like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> I think what the, key, the issue is here um, is the fact that we're embracing modern technology and yes. moving forward. Um, Typically, when we think about the DVLA, we think about long queues and dealing Very with Very annoying. And when yeah. you get there, and the people come to you, Madam, Madam, <laughs> 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 exactly. So, when, when you eliminated those, the human factor, the corrupt human factor, yeah. we say, we like. uh, and we've made everything more efficient, yeah. I think it's a good step. Good. Yeah. Okay, so let's you know get into this. So, on the 18th of February, yeah. Um, which is next week. Sure. What 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 can we expect if we go to the DVLA to get any of these services? Some of the ones I mentioned. Um, after the 18th of February, mm -hmm. once um, vaccine is launched, um, anything that you could do by yourself without going to DVLA, you do by yourself. Once you have internet access, so you go online, you get all your forms, you fill the forms online. S yeah, set up an account for yourself. That is once. And then get an apply for your service, get an invoice, go to a bank, and pay. Which banks is it? Is um, it a particular bank? I think I think they are dealing with Echo Bank for now. Okay. Echo Bank and NIB. Okay. So go to the bank and pay before you even go to DVLA. So all the delays that were involved in these processes are, are completely out. Then when you go to DVLA, then they will verify the information that you provided online. They will now take your picture, they will take your fingerprint, their biometric system will do all that. And then they will take your signature. And then they can process you for the service that you requested. Okay. So, so is, that, is that simple? So would it still take, say for example, if I apply for my learner's license, yeah. would it still take three months? Or now that it's automated, things will get will be shorter once I've gone gone to the DVLA? No, uh, it will definitely not take three months because okay. I... What I also know is that they have imported all the equipment that they need to be, uh, like on the same day, be able to produce you your uh, your cards right. on the spot and then, and then let you have it. So, if lately, maybe possibly a few, a few, a few days. Please explain to us what these cards um, are. Okay, I'll hold them up. Okay. I'll hold one up while you're explaining. Ba basically, these are, these cards are the new electronic cards that are going to replace most of the paper documentation that were being used previously. Mm -hmm. So the card will have the person's, in fact, is, um, most of the information that was collected in mm -hmm. relation to your biometrics are actually printed on the card. Okay. So your photo, your address, and your full record is also on here. Yeah, in, in so very in soon, card. this will be no more? Yeah, that will be no more. And it will be like this? And it will be like that. Okay. okay. Um, now, I, I was asking this before because obviously the, the one that Amma was just holding up was the uh, vehicle, vehicle registration certificate, yeah, certificate which yeah, used to which be this. Yeah, yeah. So in regards to this, obviously uh, before we had a little stamp with this, yeah, yeah. Um, which we display in our uh, windscreen. Yeah. yeah. Um, so once that's done and once we've gone automated, do we still show our, st our certificate in the windscreen? I, I think you're, you're still sure because this, the this stamp is... A yearly buy is renewable every year. Okay. If you're a commercial vehicle, I think it's twice a year. Okay. If you're a private vehicle, it's once a year. Okay. So you still place it there to show that this year you have gotten it. But even if it's not there, they can still just, they have a mobile uh, system that is coming. They can just type in your vehicle registration number and see whether your record is up to date. Please repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I actually want a lot of people to hear no, this because, because obviously it no, is going to yeah, basically, remove basically, I have a yeah. major problem with uh, the amount of vehicles on our roads that True. shouldn't be yeah. and how they obtain their licenses you know, if, 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 if you don't have that thing in your window they can punch your vehicle registration number or the VIN number into their system and automatically retrieve your full details mm -hmm. and so they will see whether you are current not just even on the vehicle registration, whether your insurance is current and that kind of stuff. Wonderful. Okay. Now, uh, also, there's, there was another 
bit on here as well. There's a scan code. That's it? A, that's a QR code. So even if they don't, or, you know, if you have this, if they scan that, that, that also tells them everything. It goes, about goes the, the, yeah, the server and then, and then retrieves all your information. Okay. We're stepping into the future. I know, yeah. Aladji, <laughs> Let me ask you. So, in terms of, I know we're moving forward. Times are modernizing, but there's still a huge chunk of Ghanaians who are not computer ready. Um, how does this new automated system? How is that going to affect them? Well, to an extent, uh, we don't think it's going to affect them in a negative sense. Um, if, if we pick the average um, Ghanaian today, he or she is able to send an text. SM text message, text yes. message on phone. So uh, if you can do this, they only need um, an internet connectivity to go online and do this uh, application. And like uh, Doc said, there are just a few steps. The first four steps tells you how to create uh, an, an ID for an yourself, account, account, an account for yourself. Account. So from there, you move to the next four steps again. Where you request that for allows you to apply for a service. Yes. And an invoice is generated. There and then, you have done more or less about 70% of the job. Because if you are able to go online, you fill the form, you have the invoice. All you do is now to come to DVLA and then make the payment. Just to uh, uh, process your application. Yes. Clear so do you that physically pay at DVLA or you, you can pay, pay at the bank? Any bank. Yes, for now, uh, it's like you would know um, this is a lunch. And for that yeah. matter, we're looking at a, pro, uh, a pilot scheme. Uh, scheme. So for now, you will have to pay it at DVLA, okay. uh, the outlet bank at DVLA, either the NIB or Ecobank. These are the two uh, banks we're dealing with. Not to say we're advertising for those, these two banks, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. So when you pay, then the service is rendered. And like um, Ben said, the vehicle registration certificate, before we're using the, this, one, yes. this paper one, mm -hmm. where we had a lot of problems, in the sense that papers are always being faked, certificates are all, uh, always being faked, even the stickers. Now with this one, you have the barcode, which is readable by just a scan, scan handheld scan. So on the road when we meet you, either the DVLA staff or even the, the, the police, the, the the police, police yes. yes. In fact, they, they are able to, smartphone to yes. be able to scan us. They are able to go into your system. This vehicle, the data would drop. They know whether you have a valid sticker or not. Okay, I'm going to ask something quickly, just so right. because you brought that up. Um, you said that any smartphones can scan yes. this. Isn't that going to be a problem in regards to certain sensitive security information? Uh, because obviously, if I have a smartphone mm -hmm. and I find Amma's uh, license on the floor, I scan, scan it. it. I have her date of birth, her address, no. her vehicle registration. No, no. You see, um, there are people who are authorized to scan. Okay. Like them teach you and that kind of thing. Okay. So if they scan, they have to put in their okay. So before they can get it. Okay. So right. if I take my phone right now and I was to scan this, no, I wouldn't get access. No, they don't get any information. Okay. okay. Great. So data protection is, is insured. Okay. All right. Let's um, look at this pilot scheme. I know it's getting launched. Just tell us the regions it's been getting launched initially, yeah. and when you hope to make it a national, um, I guess scheme. Um, from what I have been told, it's being launched immediately um, in Accra, Tema, Weja, Kumasi. So this place is going to go live. Okay. Um, then all the vehicle um, dealers are also online. All the learners, sc learning schools are also also online. Okay. So and the the pilot is purely to see what issues may come up. If within two weeks issues are not up, everything has been done well, they just we allow the public. In fact, I think they were, we've been talking about allowing the public to just register their, their cars. But that one I'm not too sure yet. I think during the day of the pilot, they will state precisely who, what, 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 the, what the program is for rollout. So the pilot scheme is going to run for about two weeks? Only all I, I don't, I, don't, I, 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 I hope it it's is, going it to... It's basically for four weeks. A month. So that we would have put uh, everything the teaching problems into place before... Is uh, open up to okay. the Thai public. Uh, public. Just the last thing, if uh, in regards to, I mean, the scanning, all the information, will it hold um, if there's been any, uh, for instance, convictions, Offense. offenses, Offense. offenses are held. Yeah, yeah. everything. Oh. On the, if your license has been suspended, it, everything will, it will be there. show. Everything will be shown. Yeah. Right. So, so essentially, this, you know, in the good sense, your full record is there. 
it, it should reduce i mean it's, it's going to stop fraudulent exactly okay. exactly. Right. exactly so that the issue of um <coughs> excuse me to uh tag my uh, new plan oh. hello broke <laughs> basis will be able to tell that yes this vehicle has not Been come to develop for for yeah. any inspection because yes. the record shows yeah i like today they give you a paper document to say that is it yeah oh, you it's it. not a fake one so uh the, some of the benefits are numerous for instance um they will be very speedy and efficient delivery of service like i said you wouldn't have to come start initiate everything in a queue at d valley you would have gone ahead even at the bedroom at your convenience do the 70 percent job come to deal just complete the 30 percent then again enforcement mm. would be enhanced uh police when they mount on the road certain time they have it a hectic day because they are not able to identify right. which one is a mm. fake one which one is a genuine one so with this uh, automation uh definitely yes okay then again we can talk about uh, our other uh, stakeholders mm. insurance can quickly you want to insure your car they will be able to tell is okay. this a very risky driver but no, no no we're out of time on this but right. there's uh, one question i have to sneak in there um we're saying we're going to stop fraud we're hoping it'll stop fraud but what if somebody uses my identity to go and get a card is that possible it's not possible because they took your fingerprint they took your photo and, like, right. and it's permanently in the system okay great i love that one nice new innovation i know i'm actually very excited <laughs> okay. so thank you very much thank gentlemen you, you, first of all to dr ben adu and also alaji juicy for That's saying right. thank you well there you have it um automated uh, registration systems at the dvla don't go anywhere on new day we have more coming up thank you